Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video all about the Coco Mademoiselle perfume range from Chanel. There's so many different things in this range so I'm going to take you through the whole thing, explain what the difference is and hopefully it will be helpful, useful for you guys. If you're new here then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes. So if you're a perfume fan like me then do subscribe. I have new videos every week and leave your requests for videos down below in the comments. As always, the link to everything will be down below in the description um, for links and where to buy this from all different countries across the world. So Coco Mademoiselle was launched in 2001. It has been around for quite a while now and it is definitely one of, if not the, best-selling perfume at the moment. It has been that way for many, many years. Every Christmas, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, it's always up there in the bestsellers list. It's probably one of the most accessible and yet very high-end and exclusive um, perfumes out there, you know, and not many people can afford a Chanel handbag or Chanel clothes, but this is a way to get that Chanel brand without um, those hefty price tags. Though having said that, the perfumes are not cheap. They are one of the most expensive mainstream perfumes out there. Every year they put the prices up as well. Kira Knightley has been the face of the fragrance for quite a while now, um, and every year they seem to do a different kind of ad campaign with her, and I think that's really help the success like she's very beautiful and feminine um but there's also a sort of girl power element to it and that's kind of how it sort of explain the fragrance as well. So the Eau de Parfum that comes in the signature Chanel bottle um this the ingredients in this are essentially like a warm orange and patchouli with quite a lot of a florally rosiness in there. So it smells pretty, it smells floral, um, but it doesn't smell sort of like a potpourri, it smells like a rose. And then the patchouli is what helps it last. So if you do a good maybe four or five sprays of this, Eau de Parfum, it is going to last you a good maybe five or six hours. There's a tiny bit of musk, vanilla, woody notes that help this last in the base, but predominantly the three main notes are patchouli, orange and rose. You can then get the Eau de Toilette version, which is a bit cheaper, um, but is not as strong. So Eau de Toilettes are always weaker than Eau de Parfums. And, but it's not just the same fragrance, but weaker. It actually has slightly different ingredients. So there's more of the um, a fresh bergamot in here, which mixes with the orange, and there's less of the rose. They've also put grapefruit in here and lychee and so there's much more citrus going on, it's much more fresher, much more daytime, hot spring days, summer days. Um, so perhaps you could have this during the day and then wear the Eau de Parfum at night um, and of course because the Eau de Parfum is quite expensive a lot of people are going for the Eau de Toilette now I think and that's fair enough. It does smell very very similar, like it's hard to tell between the two, it's just a bit fresher more citrus but you're still getting that patchouli and a warm orange as the main notes. You can also buy Coco Mademoiselle in a Parfum. So this is a little tiny bottle, really concentrated, it doesn't have a spray, you just dab a little bit on, it's much, much more concentrated than the others. And here the ingredients are pretty much the same as the Eau de Parfum. I'd say the um, orange is maybe a little bit less and there's more like patchouli and rose and perhaps you can sense the vanilla a little bit more but it's very very similar and something a bit different if you are looking for something that's going to last a bit longer and you don't mind paying a bit more then the pure parfum is a very classic you know how ladies used to wear perfume by dabbing it on. Um, now more recently, in 2018, they released Coco Mademoiselle Intense. Now this comes in a intense Eau de Parfum, so the bottle shape is the same as the Eau de Parfum, but it has this like darker, almost brown um, note to the bottle, so it just looks a bit darker and more intense. Um, it does smell a lot like the Eau de Parfum again, but here they've kind of dialed up the vanilla. 
and there's also um, quite a strong tonka bean in here. Now tonka bean is a really warm fragrance. I really like it. It's in quite a lot of fragrances that are popular at the moment. And I, I think of all of them, this is probably my favorite because you get the pretty feminineness, you get the patchouli orange rose of Coco Mademoiselle, but then you've got this little bit deeper tonka bean and vanilla vibe that comes through. So it does feel more wintry, it does feel warmer, more nighttime but I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting and helps it last a little bit more it's intense version um so I really like this new version from Chanel I think it's a really good move um, and hopefully it's going to be here to last now there are lots of different complementary products that you can get from the Coco Mademoiselle range so perhaps if you have this or you're getting it as a gift then you could always add one of these products with it like really nice special gift maybe they're the kind of things that people wouldn't buy for themselves themselves so they make pretty gifts so the first ones to mention are the twist and sprays so the eau de parfum and the eau de toilette come in these twist and spray versions um basically you get two um little um glass bottles that go in these twist and sprays so it's basically for your handbags you can carry around the fragrance with you in terms of value for money like per milliliter these are more expensive than just buying the actual perfume but um, the perfume isn't really that practical it doesn't really go in your handbag it is glass so if you are someone that likes to carry it around with you then this is a nice thing to get and again a nice gift to get something else that is really nice is the hair mist now this um is the coco mademoiselle fragrance but it's a little bit simpler so it's literally just orange patchouli rose like there's none of the other vanilla or woody notes or anything that are in some of the others it's just the pure es essence essentially of the fragrance and I tend to spray perfume in my hair anyway because on your skin you do sweat it out whereas it stays in the hair hair mists are becoming more and more popular so perhaps if you do want this fragrance but you're looking for a more affordable way to get it then the hair mist is much cheaper even than the eau de toilette but you still get that same fragrance and it lasts quite well in the hair anyway so I think this is really good and I think this sells quite well for them you can get a actual soap and you can also get a foaming shower gel which comes in beautiful Chanel bottle you can also get the deodorant deodorants are a really good way to layer the fragrance if you're finding perhaps it's not lasting as long as you want then the deodorant might help just build up that spread their smell or perhaps you want it to be a bit stronger and again it's a cheaper way of buying the fragrance there is a very luxurious body cream which comes in a really meaty package there's a body lotion and a moisture mist um so depending like how intense you want the moisture i guess you choose which one you want um i recently got my mum the body lotion and i think she likes it and you do get the smell from it just like as if you'd sprayed the perfume and then lastly something that's really nice is the velvet body oil something you could perhaps put on your legs um, if you're wearing a skirt or the arms whatever and it's going to moisturize make you look silky but also give you that fragrance all over so I do love um, body oils rather than moisturizers because they're just a little bit different and they give you that healthy glow so so many things to choose from in the Coco Mademoiselle range but I hope that rundown has helped you I think this is a beautiful perfume I used to wear it all the time in my teens and now my mum wears it all the time Time. so whenever I think of this perfume or smell this perfume I immediately think of her and, and home and um, and it is just a classy fragrance and it's going to be here for like forever and ever because it's just so appealing um, and the branding and everything is just so exclusive if you get it in the shop sometimes you can get it gift wrapped which is really pretty or sometimes you can actually buy it pre gift wrapped um, online as well I have also done many videos on the other Chanel perfumes, so I will leave them linked down below. But that's it, guys. I hope you found this useful, interesting, helpful. Um, don't forget to give it a like if it was. And let me know in the comments what you think of Coco Mademoiselle or any requests for other videos. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!